guys how are you doing today i hope you are all doing well and you're keeping safe my name is stella simon and i'm a clinical nutritionist welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for the love thank you so much for the support thank you for subscribing we are now at 1000 subscribers and it's all thanks to you and if you're new here i welcome you and i would also like to request you to please please go ahead and subscribe remember to turn on the notification icon so that you can be notified whenever i upload a new video in today's video i'll be sharing with you about diet during hemodialysis as you watch this video please like the video or give it a thumbs up it increases the visibility of my videos on youtube and dialysis is, is the removal of waste products from the body using the principle of simple diffusion and osmosis through a semipermeable membrane. There are two different types of dialysis. We have hemodialysis and we also have peritoneal dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis utilizes the semipermeable membrane of the peritoneum and it covers most part of the abdominal pelvic organs. Hemodialysis is the most common and it, it removes waste products by circulating blood outside the body through an external filter which we call the dialyzer that contains a semipermeable membrane. And what happens for someone to be, to be started on dialysis is that their kidneys are not functioning well and they are, they are suffering from a condition which we call chronic kidney disease. And, and the main function of the kidney in our body is excretion, removing the waste products like urea, we have uric acid, we have ammonia, and we also have creatinine. So what happens when someone is started on their disease? They are also supposed to check on their diet. And number one is a low sodium diet. And sodium, we get it from the table salt. So that means if you're on dialysis, you're supposed to minimize the use or to avoid the use of salt. Apart from salt, we also have the, the salted snacks, for example, the crackers, and we also have the sauces, the chutneys, and the pickles. Then next, when you choose the, the proteins, you're supposed to choose the high biological value proteins. For example, chicken or beef. And I highly recommend the, the, the white meat over the red meat. Then you're supposed to minimize or to avoid the legumes and pulses. For example, the beans and the lentils. And this is because they contain a higher amount of the nitrogenous waste. Then you're supposed to avoid the, the mangoes, red bananas, avocado, the apple, and this is because these fruits, they are very high in potassium. Then we are also supposed to avoid the, the organ meats, like the, like the kidney and the liver, and also daily products like cheese, and also the seafood like the shrimps. Then when you prepare your vegetables, for example, the cabbage, it's always good to leach them. You boil them first or you kind of steam them. Then you discard the water that you used to boil. Then you are also supposed to avoid the, the roots and the tubers. For example, we have the cassava, we have the arrow roots, and we have the yams. Then you are also supposed to, to restrict the intake of water. For someone who is on dialysis, the recommendation is 500 ml of water allowance plus previous 24-hour urine output. You'll find that most of them, they are given like a chart on when they are going for dialysis so that they can, they can be filling in when they are at home. Then I would also like to encourage you, if you have been started on dialysis, please do not stop going on for your dialysis. It is very important for you. And you find for most people, they go in maybe twice in a week. And last but not least, try to ensure that all your meals are balanced. So that is it for today's video. 
Thank you so much for watching. And in case you have any question relating to diet during dialysis or during hemodialysis, please comment down below and I'll be glad to respond to you. And, and if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe, please share the video and turn on the notification icon so that when I upload a video, you receive a notification. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye for now.